Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Letty. I'm a 35 year old crazy makeup person from England. I live in Bournemouth in the south um, and I love all things makeup. So if you like makeup too, then you definitely have come to the right place. So please to consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss what I'm posting. So today's video, I did this very simple look. I filmed some of it, not all of it. Um, I kind of stopped filming and then I thought, oh, I'm actually gonna film. So I did um, just a kind of, um, step by step or kind of like a tutorial of how I do my eyeliner so how I achieved this like quite dramatic full winged eyeliner um, I used a couple of different products just to show you how you can clean up mistakes and things like that so if you want to see how I got this look then please just keep on watching thank you so for today's video we're doing something a little bit different so I am bare face so I'm going to be showing you all yeah, showing you my techniques for doing eyeliner. So basically a step-by-step -step process of how I do my eyeliner, as in like winged eyeliner. I've got all my eyeliners here. There's quite a few of them. And then what I'll do is I'll also do a second video doing my, and of course my favorite one, full on the floor. And I'll do another separate video of my eyeliner collections probably next, there's quite a few in here. And I'll go through, on this video, I'll go through a step-by-step -step, um, process of how I do my eyeliner and my favourite ones to use, and yeah, that's it really. So yeah, here we go. Let's bring you a bit closer. So excuse me the realness of my face, but um, this is what you get. But I can try, I'm gonna try and do as much as I can obviously on camera. So to do eyeliner, what you need is, so you need obviously your eyeliner. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution because one, it's affordable. This is the one, this is the rose gold packaging. So one, it's affordable. Um, it's only like five pound. Um, it's got a really, really nice tip on it. Oh, if I can get the lid off. So it's a very, very thin lid and you can just do a very thin line. I mean, it's a terrible line, but it's pretty black. Um, stays on really well and it's quite affordable and easy to get hold of. Another one of my favorite liners um, is the, um, it used to be Kat Von D, they're now called KVD Beauty, this is still in the old packaging. This is the Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. And this again is beautiful. This is the same sort of thing, but the end is actually like a brush, and it's beautiful to like do lines with. This is like one of my favourites, but it is more like expensive, so it costs £16. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but it is really, really worth the money. Um, if you can afford it, then it's really good. I think it's £16 still. Um, another kind of recent favourite of mine has been this one, the Huda Beauty. Um, this is like a jewel-ended one, so it's got like a pencil, not a pencil, but a kajal on this side, like so. And then it has, and then it has the liquid liner on this side. So this is an actual like liquid liner. And this is so black, this stays on forever. And I quite like the bristles of the brush on this one. I think it's really, really, again, it's a brush tip. It's not a felt tip, it's an actual brush tip. So it's got little bristles on it. So it's um, really, really easy to use. And you can get really, really thin lines with it. And you can build it up as well. So I might do one on one eye and then do the other one. Like my, I'll just see how it pans out. But this stays on. It's really, really hard to get off. So you do have to kind of, I get some micellar water on a cotton bud and I, um, sorry, my thing is decreasing and I just kind of hold it on there for a few seconds and then I wipe it and then it tends to come off. A oil based one probably works a bit better, but I use just normal, normal micellar water. Um, but yes, yeah, so those are kind of my, my favourite, my top three um, eyeliners and they're probably the ones, well they are the ones I reach for the most. So these three, um, and this one is very recently because I got this one and if, um, I think it was, August glossy box, maybe July, I can't remember. It wasn't, yeah, maybe not August, I can't remember, one of the one, one of the recent ones I got it through. So, yeah, so I thought I would give them a go. Um, so I've already primed my eyes, I've just literally got primer on them, I haven't put any, any shadow or anything like that on them. I just thought it'd be easier to do this without any shadow on, so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, and you'll also need, if you can get hold of one of these, this you can't really see what it is, but it's a simple kind to eyes and it's a eye makeup corrector pen. Now this is really dirty 
Um, but it basically, if I just show you what it does. So it basically like erases makeup. So let's see. So I mean, it's very messy. So you just do that. But yeah, it erases makeup and then I just clean it off. So it's very, very, oh, it's very, very used. Let me just clean up a bit. It's disgusting how dirty it actually is. It's very free, but it's really good to kind of get in that inner corner and just kind of do that so you can clean it up. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use old fashioned concealer and a nice um, like angled brush um, to try and get kind of um, clean up and I'll show you that as well. So let's get straight into it. So how I like to do it, I kind of have a different technique for both eyes because obviously I'm right handed. So on this side I kind of do this and then I kind of go up and then bring it down. Whereas this eye, I kind of just go straight down because I can just do that. Whereas with this eye, I have to kind of maneuver the pen from this angle to then this angle so I can bring it down. I mean, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm just going to try and bring you a bit closer. So this is the closest I can get you. So I'm going to try and do this as much as I can on, on, on camera. So you kind of, I just kind of start in the inner corner like this. And I just kind of do a little line at a time, just a little bit at a time. Just literally as close as I can to the lash line. You can obviously do this bit as, as um, what's the word, as thin or as thick as you like. Um, I like to do it like this sort of um, level and I like to bake it a little bit thinner in like the inner corner. Okay, so that's basically the line done. So on this side now, I'm going to go like this and I just kind of bring it down towards like this and trying to kind of figure out what angle I want. And then just go like so, just to kind of get like a, an outline. And then I basically go back in and then I just meet the two lines. And then sometimes I have to go back and kind of angle it so that it's like one, one swoop sort of thing. I then go back and then I go underneath and then I kind of bring it out. Sometimes you can straighten out like this so it's easier to do. But I actually think this eyeliner is drying out on me. Yeah, it is. How annoying, how typical. It's like completely dry. So it scrapped that, but this is a really good eyeliner, so I'm gonna have to go in with another one. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D. I'm sorry, I was trying to make it affordable, but apparently not today. So I'm just going to go back in and just kind of restep what I've just done. Yeah, this one's a bit black. I should have known because it wasn't coming out as black as I normally like it to. So retrace my steps. Okay, that's a bit better. And then I just kind of pull it out like so. And then just kind of make it a bit neater. Like so. so. That's kind of, I mean, this eye isn't perfect now because obviously the other one ran out, which is a bit annoying. But I'm just going to try and kind of fix that. So you kind of stretch your eye out and you just kind of go back in and just kind of straighten out that line. So I like that. Okay, so that's kind of done. I've kind of fixed the top bit so it's a bit more smoother. And then what I would normally do is go with the corrector. I kind of clean on my hand first like this. So I'll just give it a little like, just a little flurry. And then I will go underneath like this and just kind of do this and kind of bring it up and just clean it. Can you see how that's cleaned it? And I found this in TK Maxx like years ago <laughs> and I haven't found one since and if I do I will definitely buy one again because it just makes the process so much easier because it just deletes it so and you get that really really sharp edge and I might even go a little bit on top because obviously we've messed it up because of the eyeliner like finishing and I just tap it to kind of get rid of like the wetness but that's kind of how it is so that's really really pointy it's really really straight and it's like quite a good angle for me 
so it does lengthen out your eye so that's one eye done so i'm going to go in with the huda beauty side now just because it's a different sort of brush um and show you how that one works um i don't really like using and you can also get eyeliners in like little pots like these i have some stiller ones i have an autograph one i and you can use that with a like an angle brush or an eyeliner brush um one like this so either like one like this So a brush like this, or this is an eyeliner brush as well, it's like an angle brush. That's a Sigma one. Or apparently this is even an eyeliner brush. I don't see how this could be. This is like that. So I prefer to just use the pens for me. I find them easier. Um, but yeah, you can use them, like I said. So I'm just going to go in with this one. So this one's a bit harder to use and um, it's not as easy but it's very very black and very very pigmented and not as easy to clean so I kind of just go in there I take it out and I rub it around the ring here just so that I can get the excess because it comes off with a lot of um, product on it and I don't want that much I think you can obviously always add more product it's a lot harder to take it away so with this one again I choose to start in my inner corner and kind of go all the way um, all the way across again just doing little bits so like that okay and then I get to this bit and I literally turn it around like this and just kind of try and match it with what I've got on the other eye and then just kind of go for it Oh no. Okay, I've done a really, really bad job on that side. Okay, that's a bit better. So I've gone over the line again, just to kind of straighten it. I will clean, obviously, all this area up. So that's kind of how it looks. And then I'm gonna go in by with my little corrector because it still works, should work quite nicely. So I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, if this doesn't work, which is not. Okay, so the next option you have is you get some a cotton bud. I do have the pointy ones, but I cannot find them at all. So I don't know where I've put them. But you can use just micellar water. I'm just going to pop a little bit like this on the q-tip or cotton bud whatever you want to call it and again it's a bit wet now so just go like this so and they're going to do the same thing as you do with a pen but it cleans up the pointy ones obviously work better because they're pointy so and then what I do when it gets a bit too wet I get the other side that's dry and I just kind of clean up with that side so it's not as wet I'm just going to do a bit more okay so this side is a little bit bigger than that side um, quite a bit actually so. so that's kind of how it looks so far so that's the two eyes done they are pretty similar but yeah this eye is definitely a bit smaller I'm just going to keep going at it to clean it up to kind of make them the same so bear with me sorry I'm not on camera Okay, that's pretty much as close as I'm going to get them to match without ruining them completely. So that's kind of how they look. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how I do it. So all you need really to clean up is a little bit of micellar water. Micellar water and a cotton bud or something like this if you can find one. They're amazing. You can obviously use concealer. So you can do, I'll show you how I would do it. So get a little bit of concealer. I would put it on my hand. Just like a spatula so that you've got something i've just picked up my la one um any concealer will do that matches you and then you can get like a angled brush and then you would just go underneath like so 
oh sorry <laughs> put myself in the eye and just kind of do it that way I prefer doing it with cleaning rather than with concealer just because it can smudge and obviously what you can do as well is when you're doing your face and your makeup you can then obviously clean it up with like the sponge so if you use like a sponge like Morphe's you, know, you can get like that line and it can go up to here so you can kind of clean it up that's a really good way of doing it as well so you can literally get that line there or any brush that does on it any sponge that does this and you can kind of get really close to it and just do that so it's really really useful um but yeah that's kind of my little quick and easy um how i do winged liner so um again this is quite a thick bold liner so i think you you know you don't have to do it this thing you can do it thinner but it gives you a few options i can't believe i've run out of this one so i will be repurchasing it but, um how annoying but yes that's my little video so i'm just gonna go into my face so i can like sign off and stuff and i'll be right back so yeah i thought i'd come quickly on just to kind of show you what i mean by clean up with um concealer so I'm just going to put a little bit more here and a bit here. So then I would go with like the flat end of the, the sponge. And I'm just going to go. So I need to see what I'm doing. So I kind of need to move the mirror so where I can see. So, so you kind of go like this and can I, I can't bring it in any, oh I can't bring it closer, sorry. So like this and you kind of go in as far as you can go in and just go up and just kind of blend it upwards so like so so like that and i'm going to do the same on this side i'll be show you so i've got the concealer there i'll just kind of go with the edge keep going really really slowly and it kind of just and I swip it change it round and there it is I've kind of covered it a bit more haven't I So it doesn't look amazing but when my eyes are closed it looks really good and obviously i'm going to put mascara on and stuff in a minute so it will look nice but yeah i just wanted to come and quickly show you that how you clean up with um concealer but that's how i would do it um obviously this is what works for me everyone is different and what works for me might not work for you and if your technique works for you then amazing i'm not saying this is the best technique in the world i'm just saying this is how i've learned to do my eyeliner and how i like to do it so I just thought I'd do a quick video tutorial showing you guys because I always get questions about from people saying oh how do you do your eyeliner so good and stuff so I thought I would just like show you so I might as well just do a quick um finish getting ready with you guys because you know it's been a while so sorry I have not posted this week it's just been a bit of a mental week um there's quite a lot going on in my life at the moment I've just handed in my notice at my work of 11 and a half years um I'm going to a completely different job, completely different job. Um, it couldn't be any more different. Um, I'm just set my under eyes with Laura Mercier. Um, but yeah, so I'm a bit um, apprehensive about all that. Um, it's the, it is a time for me to leave, but um, my back has been so bad recently. Um, I have started treatment. Um, I've gone to, going privately to a chiropractor. Um, so I have started taking steps to recover and stuff, but it is um, painful and it's expensive. So um, I'll put it out a bit more. So yeah, so it's a bit, I don't know, everything is just getting on top of me at the moment. Um, I'm sure that life will get easier and better. Um, I just don't know what to do for the right or wrong at the moment. So I don't know. I'm just going to go a bit with my give them lala bronzer that i like it's one of my favorites at the moment um i'm just gonna go in with a nice fluffy this is a multitask brush i think yes multitask brush from um real techniques i'm just gonna pop that in there I'm just bronze up i'm not gonna like contour or anything so i can't be bothered i'm only gonna go to the school room
Okay, so I am, if it's your first time here, I am wearing colour contacts. My eyes are brown, but I got sent some in PR and I just wanted to try them and do different looks with them and stuff and I really like them. They're really nice, they're quite comfortable to wear. I have the grey ones on today. Um, I'll pop the video of the contact lens video here so you've got it. My skin is really bad at the moment. I've been really careless with my skin routine at the moment. And with my eating, um, I've put a little bit of weight on. Um, just making really unhealthy choices in general. So I think it's all the stress, to be honest, of what to do. Because obviously, I wasn't sure what to do with my job. Um, I want to leave, but I'm scared of change. Because obviously, I've been there for such a long time. And the new job I'm going to is to work nights. So that's going to be a huge, huge difference. Um, and I don't know if my new job is going to be suitable for my back. So I'm worried about that. It's kind of like, what do I do if I do this job and then my back's bad? And my job um, will be lifting and stuff. So I don't know what to do for the best or the worst. So I'm just kind of winging it at the moment. That's what I do. Now with this sort of uh, eyeliner, I'd normally go with a red lip. As I've got to do the school run, I won't bother. Um, but I am going to go. I really, really like these super stay. Oh, these super stay lipsticks. This is Amazon Amazonian. I want um, a Duchess, which I think is actually in my bedroom, which is very annoying. Actually, I saw a picture of me wearing this the other day, and I really liked it. I'm going to go with this. So this is the Stiller. Um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bacca. Really lovely liquid lipstick Stella does. Uh, so easy to apply. Oh, I do like that. It's kind of like a burgundy, pinky kind of wearable lipstick in my opinion anyway i think it's really pretty um i've not done highlight just remembered i cleaned all my brushes the other day so they're all nice and sparkly and clean so that we're all um so i'm gonna go in with the highlight this is the jacqueline hill um bomb wow Well, wow. and bronzer is really dark. dark. I'm going to go in with a little bit more. Um, I need mascara on as well. I'm gonna go in with my Revolution mascara. Um, I like this for like when I want like a lashy day. If that makes sense. So that's one I done. Can anyone do their mascara with their mouth shut? I'd like to know, because I can't. I literally have to have my mouth open. Isn't that really weird? If you can, comment down below, I really wanna know. And how do you do it? <laughs> like I can't talk or anything, I have to just do this. So, let's do the bottom lashes. Okay, so that's the bottom lashes done. Now you can go in with liner, obviously in the waterline and stuff if you want to. I'm not gonna bother. I like this eyeliner more than this side because I think this side's a bit sharper. And I might go in with a little bit of my um, KVD tattoo liner and just kind of darken that edge a bit more. There we go. Okay, it's so thin, you can just create a really thin line. So I've kind of extended it a little bit and I think they look a bit better now. Like so. 
This is one of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks I wear and I've completely forgot about that so I will probably try and invest in some more from Stella. I've got three, I got these in a little um, pack, they were like £10 on offer and I got three of them. I got like this colour, like a light pink and then this like lavender pink uh, which I don't really like actually but the formula is good. So I'm just going to bronze it up a little bit more. Um, go in with my Revolution uh, Reloaded because I think um, it's not really doing what I want it to do. I'm going to go in with this pure powder in deep, very small amount. It's not really doing anything, maybe it's the brush. Um, I like this one, which is a, it's an old model tusk brush, but it's like an angled one. See, this one is like more like circular. This one's like more angled. I'm going to go with this one. Okay, I think it's okay. So I straightened my hair today, which I haven't done in like months and months and months, but I just had an urge and I talked to my friend on Skype who lives in Germany. So I thought while I was talking to her, I killed two birds, one stone and decided to, my lockdown fringe is still looking awful. So it's pinned up. So you can't see the awfulness of it. And I haven't had it fixed because I can't be bothered. So anyway, so here it is, here's the final look. Um, I do love a good line a day. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is quite a dramatic liner. So you obviously, like I said, you can do it. Oh, let me just get the colors. There we go, and almost can color down. Um, so you can obviously do a much more smaller liner, a little bit, um, um, what's the word? A little bit less dramatic so yeah so this is the final look so very very simple um but i think very very effective um i hope you learned something with my little um how to I'm not sure what i'm going to call it whether it's like how to achieve winged liner or how i do my winged liner because i don't want it to be like um, I'm not saying that I'm the best at wig liner. This is just how I've learned to, like, obviously my eye shape and everything. I've learned how to do eyeliner on my eyes. Um, but yes, I really, really like it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I've got a new palette to play with as well. So I'm going to try and film that later on today if I can. Like later on this evening or maybe tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow as well. But I've got a back appointment and normally after my back appointment I'm a bit drained. Because it's, um, I'm quite sore and it's a bit painful. But um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. But anyway, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative. Hope it was helpful in some way. And I shall please do subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye bye. Mwah.